Hello you guys, today is another Mini Figure Monday, and this one I'm going to be showing you some of my own designs, not on anything that actually exists. It's going to be a Apocalypseburg version of Lloyd, Cole, and Nia for the LEGO Movie 2. So yeah, I'm going to show you what pieces you can use to make these, and explain why I think these parts would be accurate, and what I think like these characters would look like in the movie if they're in the movie. We're pretty sure Lloyd is going to be in the movie, or at least in one of the sets, because he was like confirmed for one of the sets or something like that, so we know that he's going to be a part of it, maybe not in the movie, but like I said, in, in the sets maybe. Alright, so how you're going to make him is, well first of all I gave him one of these uh, blades from the new Dragon Hunter sets, and this can come in some of the smaller ones. I think the smallest one it actually comes in is the Stormbringer set, which is still $40, so not that small. For the legs, I gave him the legs from the Skybound version of Lloyd. And then for the torso, I gave him the um, actual one from the Ninjago movie, because I kind of wanted to carry on the uh, look of the Ninjago movie ones to the Lego movie 2. I gave him his Ninjago movie arm on this side, and then just gave him a yellow hand here and like to show that his glove was ripped off and then over here it's the opposite so he just has a yellow arm and then a black hand to show the glove still there and then for his armor right there he has the armor from the sons of garmadon minifigures from the season 8 sets that's pretty common so because i wanted to use that to keep kind of a ninjago armor style and that one is probably like one of the most ninjago armors that ninjago has so that I feel like that works pretty well. I gave him just the regular Lloyd face and hair from the movie and the newer sets. So that's pretty much just it for him. And I feel like the legs and the torso actually go together pretty well, considering they weren't actually supposed to be together originally. And with those little ties there, it looks kind of like he'd be more, you know, how everyone is in the Lego movie too. So that's pretty much just it for Apocalypseburg Lloyd. And the reason I'm doing these, actually, I forgot to say, is uh, I got a suggestion in the comments of the last Minifigure Monday, which I am always open to those. I can't promise anything, but I will try to make your ideas. And yeah, um, now I'm going to go on to Cole, the second one. He, ha I gave him just two of the um, these little things, I forgot what they're called, but those also come in the new Dragon Hunter sets. And for his legs, I gave him the Cole legs from the Lego Ninjago movie sets because I felt like to keep the Ninjago tone in here, I had to use those. For his arms, I used the dual-molded um, black and gray arms from the Gamer minifigure from that one minifigure series. I forgot which one it was. I think it's a 12 or 13. And then I gave him on one hand, it's just a black hand for the glove, and then the other one, there is no glove, and it's just yellow. And then for his armor, because I felt like when the reason I got the idea to make Cole, like how to make him, was when I found this Cryptor armor, the general Cryptor armor from the rebooted sets from Ninjago. I felt like that would be a great one to make like a buff version of Cole, Cole, like in a like a, a new ninja outfit. And then underneath that, I used kind of a more not Ninjago torso. It is the Death Trooper torso from Rogue One, um, Star Wars. So. It, I feel like it looks kind of good, more like armor underneath that, because Cole would probably be the ninja to wear armor in this case. And then just to kind of show the more savage look, I gave him the um, the man bun piece that was used in the Lego Ninjago movie, opposed to the one that they changed to in the show, where it's just that new Cole hairstyle. And then underneath that, instead of giving him the Ninjago movie face, I gave him the face from, I actually forgot, these were from the Day of Departed sets, I believe, actually. And I gave him that one because he's kind of more angry on here, and he has, like, the scar, so it shows kind of more um, how he's, like, kind of scarred and stuff like that. So that's just it for Cole. And the next one is Nia. So this one was kind of a last-minute thing that I decided to do. I gave her just, like, a water blast thing, but that doesn't really matter. Um... I gave her this cape piece, which is from the um, Solo A Star Wars Story sets. It came in the TIE Fighter. I felt like kind of the torn up uh, gray cape would work well for Nia. So I can actually take that off and you can kind of get a better look right here. I gave her the regular hair and head she usually has. 
And then to keep it Ninjago, I gave her Cole's arms from the Lego Ninjago movie sets. Just so, you know, they could, like, because they have the little wrist printing, which I felt would work well for a Ninjago thing. And for her torso, I used the one from Season 8, except I used the back of it because it looks more messy, as you can probably see there, with that kind of all, like, unorganized because how that part of the symbol should be underneath that instead of up there. And then I gave her the legs from the, uh, was it, yeah, the Dragon Hunter minifigures right here, except I took off the orange hips and replaced them with ultraviolets from the, um, uh, Sons of Garmin on sets because I didn't feel like the orange really worked that well. So I tried to find another, like, belt piece that is kind of still Ninjago, and I gave her Ultraviolets, which is still from Ninjago. So I think that works pretty well, and yeah, that's just it for Nia. Another thing that I would say works for Lloyd also was a hood, except instead of using the same design that he uses in the Ninjago movie, use the design that they kind of do in the Spinjitzu Masters uh, sets, where it's, he has the, um, color the, of his, like, element on the lower one, and then the one that was, okay, the, the lower version, okay, the lower part of the mask from the Sons of Garmin on sets, and then the top part of the mask from the Ninjago movie sets, so it kind of looks a bit more, like, mis, like, different colored, and I feel like that works pretty well. And that is just it for Lloyd, and that is just it for all of them. Alright, so now, um, yeah, I'm just going to line them all up here so you can see them in the end. And I'm going to give Nia that cape again. And so, yeah, I think you, uh, well, I'm going to say, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these. And I hope maybe you will take the tips to build these. And let me know what you think about if the Ninjago movie characters are going to show up in the LEGO Movie 2. And also, uh, maybe give me some more suggestions for minifigures to do on Minifigure Monday. I would love that. I'm always open to the suggestions, as I said before, and no promises, but I will try and make as many as I can. And I'm going to just say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.